Hello everybody. Today we're going to go through my air conditioner and show you how to maximize your efficiency by cleaning your air conditioner. We'll show you how to clean it, why to clean it, how often to clean it. We'll show you all the good stuff. So stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. This is Mike with Jealous Lawn Care and today we're going to go through my air conditioner and show you all how to clean it. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Is this lawn care related? Is it not? Is it curb appeal? What is it? So this is technically lawn care related. And the reason why this is lawn care related is because of the fact that the problem of the clogging of your air conditioner and why it needs to be cleaned is because of the grass clippings mainly. Now sure, pollen is another factor of why your air conditioner gets clogged up and becomes less efficient over the years. So without further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to do is basically take off the top panel and then show you how dirty it is. So I want to give you a close up view of how it looks when it's dirty and how it looks when it's clean. So can you guys see all this stuff in front of here? See how it's all caked on like you can barely see it and I'm talking inside these grates where the actual coils are. So you can see like right here it's clean, here it's dirty all the way up, here it's caked on. So this is pretty bad and I'll show you again after I take this cover off. And on this side you can tell it's much cleaner. So you can actually see the coils very nice and clean on this side. When I mow, so I pretty much mow this way and the mower actually spits out the grass towards the right. So no surprise that when I come around here, all of it's gonna collect on this side. And of course, it might also have to do with the way the wind is blowing, which direction and so forth. And then you can see on my back here, you know, this isn't too bad. This is, this is pretty minor, but hey, this is something that we should all be doing every couple years. The first question you're probably thinking about is how often should I clean my air conditioner coils? And that's going to vary upon person and different circumstances because of the fact that if you're living in the country versus living in the suburbs, uh, how exposed it is to the grass, is it actually on your grass? or is it on a patio away from the grass? That's gonna be a big factor also. Because a lot of the factors that will clog this up will be because of the grass and also because of the pollen. So first things first, this is a very, very easy job. I want you guys to realize this and hopefully you can do it yourself so you don't have to call a technician to come and clean it out and also save yourself some money. Save yourself some money from the repair costs and also for the monthly bills because you're gonna see a reduction in your bills, of course. How much is dependent on how dirty your air conditioner is and how often you run it. So first things first, we're gonna use a nut driver or on mine, I'm sure it's like just like many of yours, where you can just use a screwdriver. So we're just gonna take the top panel off right now. That's our step one. very easy you can use a nut driver or a screwdriver or a drill but since I mean these are really really tiny screws so not really a reason to use the drill I mean you saw how quick three screws just came out right all right so here's the back of the unit before you begin working on this first step first let's remove this breaker just that simple Safety first always, guys. You never want to work on something while it still has power just in case it turns on. All right, now that we have our screws out, I took off all the other sides already. Don't need to watch them all. One screw to figure it out. So then we pop off our top. So there's the top, it came off just that easy. And you can tell that the wires here are pretty snug. So. I'm just gonna grab something tall so that I can lean this against something because I can't take this off and put it all the way down without disconnecting the wires. All right, so I used my good old grill, which is gonna be replaced soon for stabilization. Now we can go and show you how dirty this is. So you can see all this buildup in here. 
Look at how bad that is. And then down here, what I like to do is vacuum out all this stuff because that's the only way it really is going to get out and eventually will likely get in the coils where we don't want it. So let's take off a couple of these panels real quick. All right, here's a quick update with the sides taken off. You can tell how dirty this is, even though it looked fairly clean. So, as I said before, this is a fairly clean side. Still not great by any means. So this has probably been about four, three or four years since I've done this. And this is the outcome. So all this debris on there is definitely clogging it up. I mean, look at that. That's, that's a lot of debris. We want to get rid of that and have a nice, clean, efficient air conditioner. And the way air conditioners work, just to make sure you understand, so the air is sucking in, so the air conditioner sucks in from the outside, and obviously it's going to have a hard time sucking in if it basically, will say, can't breathe on its own. And then what it does is it shoots out the air out of the top. So that's why all the debris gets stuck on the outside. And that's why on the inside, you're not gonna have any issues with things getting stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off all the other panels so we can get a base unit without any of these coverings. And just to make sure everybody understands, the reason they have these outer coverings is to protect these coils. Because if let's say you are playing baseball and you hit this with a ball, or you hit it with a lawn, that's probably the biggest scenario of damaging the coils is by hitting these coils with a lawnmower. And if you're messing with the shape and you're damaging it and it's bending these coils, it's not gonna be as efficient. You're gonna lose efficiency and it's gonna cost you more money. All right, next step, now that you have all the panels off, you can see how dirty it is. And I like to go over it real quick with a shop vac or a vacuum, just to get all this big, heavy debris off. Now you wanna be very careful that Let's say my finger is the coils. You don't want to be too close, so you want to maintain, I would say, about a half an inch. So that's what we're going to do. Now you want to make sure that you don't actually hit the coils because these bent very, very easy. These are very fragile. So you only want to come, just like I said, about maybe a half inch away, just to get the heavy debris away. Because once you go with the hose, then that'll be the second step. This is just a first quick level step, just to make sure nothing's blowing back in and it's all getting taken away properly and not going all over the grass. And then you want to make sure you get all the way down here. You can see a lot. This is where all the grass clippings lay. It goes down. Obviously, it's going to be dirtier below than on the top. So you want to make sure you get all this. But again, don't take the coils. You can see what kind of big chunks is holding up here. I mean, this is pretty bad. All this is just caked in there. And especially, as you can see, since it's solid. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just looking for an improvement so you don't have to water as much. So you can tell how caked on this is. It's basically, I would say, almost 100% caked on. So this is really struggling on the backside for actually getting air into the unit. So once I clean this, we're going to be saving quite a bit of money on our electric bill. Then with these panels, again, you could hose it off, but I like to use my shop back also. So do a quick once over. This is all very strong, so you can bang it as hard as you want, pretty much. Just clean up the major stuff, all the spider webs and stuff. Other side, same thing. Not gonna do much here, it's just on the inside, really. Get all the debris is in. And then let's give it a quick hosing. To get all the leftover debris off. Next step we want to do to get all the debris out is hose it off lightly. 
gonna hose over the whole unit. So you can see here, the hose is already coming through, so it wasn't that bad over here. But if I try and hose this side over here, which was pretty much 100% caked on, if you check this out, look, the hose is, isn't even going through. So if the hose ain't going through and water's not going through, air is having a real tough time too. So you always want to make sure when you're doing this, you're using the hose from the inside out. Otherwise, you're going to be taking this and making the debris go back into the machine. We want to make it go out of the machine. So that's just a watch out. I almost forgot the last step, most important, make sure you plug the breaker back in. And then it'll start up. Alright, so there you have the end of the video. So, what do you think? Was this lawn care related? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. And now you can see our final product, which is a nice cleaned up air conditioner which can now breathe properly. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.